<laughs> Fine. Whatever. I mean, yeah, FM, thank you again for making a bizarre Golden Mouth incident. folks and welcome to another episode of Dortmund Rising. If you're excited for this episode, hit that like button down below and subscribe as well for daily FM content. No, you want to. Surely you do. FM content daily? Of course you want. Of course you want to see that. Um, also down below, links to my Twitch channel live on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I always do start, say that, don't I? I don't know why. Um, also Discord down below as well, trying to get them more active in Discord as well. I'm going to try and post things in there about I probably 97 going to start soon so that you guys can keep with it what I'm doing off camera uh, also second channel coming soon no clue what it'll be will it be a VOD channel will it be will it, for, for Twitch will it be a second channel for Let's Plays who knows could be anything it could even be me doing a cooking channel I doubt it but you never know um, so yeah today we're on the page of Fabio Chaves because um, Collins left the club uh, he was unhappy put a chance of request in so I thought yeah you know what I'll sell you uh, just, and then I Scrambled around looking for a set back. And this guy came up. Um, decent. Decent. I like him. Not sure how good he's got. He's got one thing that I thought was very interesting was shoot from distance. Yeah. If you're shooting from your own half, mate, I'm very, impre I'm very, I'm very impressed with your score from there. But yeah, so um, just a decent deal. Cost us around about uh, £16 million. Pound. It's a good deal. Basically, the same one we'd be sold Collins for, we got £4 million less on this guy so yeah so the games are coming now we're going back to the old style we're talking about the games because i think the well the fixture the the, 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 the aged high thing is cool i would prefer to talk about the games but your thoughts down what we should prefer i'll just do this style again to, for today so beat you in Berlin by five goals to nil a, a, a kind of very convincing performance i'm gonna load speed on, load speed on a little bit so i can talk a bit better um very good start there we'll go from again arnold showing that great uh kind of fit on the right hand side ball in the box with bellingham who i did say in a in the season mid-season report that i want to play more often and the goals just kept coming really screen i got one in my head a really good cross in the box and half an hour in it's, it's a kind of game where you just kind of just ease up and just relax a little bit and well done to the lads. They actually kept their performance level quite high. And even when you got to go off the bench as well. So 5-0 against Union Berlin. Not a big surprise really given the score, like, given the team we're playing against. But nice to see Demir, Demir sorry, not Demir, nice to see uh, Bellingham, Bellingham get a start and, and a goal. And the same happened with Osberg really. A really good strong start. But Haaland actually scored four goals in like 20 minutes. And you're about to see here. Demir, good ball down the line. It is Haaland full on goal. And the keeper, I don't know what the keeper was doing there. Again, keepers near post. Seems to be something I'm noticing a lot. It's it's it's, it's interesting. It's something to keep an eye on, at least in your saves. They made a good ball through to Haaland, and he goes on the keeper again, and that's two. That's, and that's game over. Yeah, uh, seventy minutes in, it's the kind of game where you, uh, you just sit there and just watch the match and think to yourself, you know what, this this is so fun to watch. That's a really poor goal um, to to Scott to concede. Really, to tackle there. Well, I'll say poor, more unfortunate. Haaland again down this side, running straight through, like, like, in straight through, falls to Savage here, pops it in. For, a, for another one. And yeah, after that, we kind of just had yeah, the whole, like, the whole, like, not great performance second half, but we got the win anyway, 5 now. The 4 4 2 curse took again. We didn't play well in this game at all, and I made some changes early in the first half because we were really, really poor. Went behind to a really poor goal there. Keep shooting better than near post. Then we kind of picked a little bit in this, it, picked a little bit. Savage the ball here. Good ball through to Haaland. First time the shot makes it 2, makes it 1 1, sorry. But we really struggled to just keep the, um, the ball in this match, Sanchez San gets four and goal, lovely little finish here, make it make, make it two one. But we were really, really struggling with the whole um kind of just keeping keeping the ball and then lit on ninety five minutes on the clock and they get to make it two two. Very disappointing scoreline, but uh, it was kind of deserved really for them because they were very good. Then we've got a Ballon Cousin victory here, three one in the Dutch Buckle uh, quarter final. They made a lovely strike in the bottom corner. Just the play from that was fantastic from him. And this game was and even match really, it, it looks like a comfortable win, doesn't it? A three-one victory over Bayern, but it wasn't really. Uh, they were very, it was very non-highlighty to, 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 to say, to, to say to say the least. That's an unfortunate goal. He just bounces off him in the back of the net, open net, and then Savic gets balls to Haaland, good balls to Demir, back through to Haaland eventually here. Also, 
Yeah, obviously, yeah, Hallam just sorry, yeah. And it's 3 1 against Bayern Leverkusen. But a very even game. 3 1 didn't really do them justice in the match, Bayern Leverkusen. They were, they were very good in the game, but um, we had more chances. But the game was very even in terms of highlights. The medium bit about four goals to one in the league. Hallam threw on goal there. You know it's coming here, don't you, at this point? This game was very comfortable. Uh, there was never a point in this game where I thought they were going to be a threat at any point. Uh, Sancho gets the ball, cuts inside back to in, in Belly to Bruno Fernandes, through to Haaland, runs around the goalkeeper, makes it 2 0. And that was the risk of the, I think, the killer goal really in this match, because after that, there was nothing really of note from Lundberg at all. Demir again, with his great ruler runs, he runs through on goal, a lovely finish, great strike to the top corner. Demir is really just a constant threat on that side. That's why running struggle against the team. Ball over the top of Haaland, finds them here, finds full goal again, finds Bellingham, who again gets a goal, which is nice to see. Bellingham is definitely getting more goals recently, which is nice to see. I did say I want to get in the team more often, but it's nice to see that when he does play, he can score. Look at that. Again, 19 shots on goal, 11 on target, 3.11 uh, goal ratio expected. So that puts us in a very strong position in the league, guys. They, they, Bayern Munich dropped some points where they definitely drew and lost a game recently. Certainly drew one. I'm not sure if I'm, right, I'm losing a match. But we've got a 16-point lead in the league, which is fantastic going into this episode. So obviously I did say that I w- I'm I- I'm going to experiment with different things on the content. So essentially I'm going to try and stick wherever I can to two games per episode. Um, I think that's the, 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 the start I feel comfortable in. One game feels like if it's one game, it's all right. But if we rush it and the game's, and the game's a, a, a dead ball, then it's a very short episode. And I like to have at least two games. So we each get, it's, if one game's a total ball, the other game's not. It's like it's going to be both, isn't there? So today's episode, guys, we're going to do games against uh, Augsburg and PSG. And then we're going to come back for Bayern and PSG after that as well, because that makes sense as a double icon. That might be the best double icon we've done in this series so far. It's just a big game together. Though I don't call anyone's, I don't call anything close to that, to be fair. To be fair. So do Nuremberg, uh, Augsburg today at home in the league. Three points needed. That's the line we're going to go with today. Hopefully it gets the, gets the job done for us. We have an issue with the recording. It seems to be screaming frames uh, during the first part of the episode so I just restarted the, the software and go to couple of things down that I had, I had opened up to see if that helps the situation out a bit so yeah um, hopefully some goals for you guys I think the PSG, PSG game is going to be very tough but we're in good form we can't be in better form than this really to be honest with you and ideally I want to get this w- win quite quickly in this game if we if we end up playing that well and then we can make some plays oh god that's very fast then we can make some plays for, 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 the, for the PSG game but let's get this game won first shall we Goal kick for a okay, single kick, look, kick from the goalkeeper. Um, Alan gets the ball down the line side. Goes basically Runter here. Got a damn making a forward run if he wants to play the ball down the line to him. He might go himself here. Savic, Arnold. Arnold's got time to pick out a cross here. Finds Bruno Fernandes. And it's. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. I mean, yeah, FM. Thank you again for making a bizarre goal mouth incident. Um, Dortmund won. Augsburg nil. And it's a. Hilarious goal. What else can you say? But Bruno gets the, this. The, see now that looks into me on the on the animation. Um, but no, and for this is this. No, no, that's not in. That's not over the line apparently. But that is <laughs> clearly so one nil against Augsburg, but not the way I thought we'd score at first. But hey, you know what? Go on technology. Oh, good. We're, we're going to see it. Don't look at it there. No, look at it when it's on the when it's in the post. Okay, never mind. This game is this game's still got really weird in the last few episodes. There's some weird crap going on in this episode. It really, really is. I need some kind of thing to put on when some weird something weird happens like that. I don't know what we could do. I know the famous second year card segment thing, but I don't want to just do a copy of that. But that is very bizarre. Um and that's what Bob been played here, but can you get a pull out of this air before you leave it away? Um yeah, I like yeah, I like this, but there we go. Demir fix it on. If we get a golfing, so it's a great goal, isn't it? Haaland down the side here. Haaland's phone goal here. And he's... A... <laughs> Can we score a normal goal? Dortmund 2, Augsburg 0. Can we try and score something normal, lads? I mean, all right. I'll take the goal. It's a nice goal. It's just a build-up play. And he keeps that second talk, talking about... Talking about, talking, talk, the, 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 talking about what's doing, something weird happens. But look at this. Bang, bang. Bang, and then Bruno goes, you know what, I'm done, I'm done with this. I'm putting back in the net. 2-0. Um, great start to the game, but it's very, very weird feeling of the goals. Is Lema. Good ball, good ball that. Go on, Demir, get running now. This is the kind of that we, 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 we're good at. Well, I guess Sancho, oh, there's time in the world. Got to be free. Right, so we can score the, the, the bizarre ones. We can't score the one-on-ones. Okay, I see how it is. Bruno Hernandez, Demir, right for half-time. Can we get a third goal here? Bruno. 
There's a shot blocked, and that should be half time in a second. And it is. Dortmund to Augsburg nil at half time, and it's been a pretty bog standard performance, really. Not been amazing, not been terrible, just done the right amount of things. Keep it going, lads. And if we get a third goal, um, and around 70th minute, I would take off Hal and those kind of guys off for the PhD game. But we're doing well here today, and the league is, I think the league's going to. Is going to be ours again. I think we were too far ahead and we're in too much good form to have this really um, kind of go away from us. He does. He's... Did he bone across that? He might have done. Demir. Cause it into Bruno Fernandes! Dortmund 3. Osberg, no, I, did, I said I want to get more goals and he started scoring them, which is nice like, nice to see. Um, yeah, I want to see Telekotico again because I think he was bone, was he bone across this. It looks like he... he, he it looks like he did and didn't. Um, it's hard to tell because it's slightly obscured. Good point from Demir. There's Bruno, free header, three nil, and that should be game set and match for us now. We can actually uh, relax a little bit now for the PhD game. Options. For, there we go. Arnold, look at space Arnold's got here, and then Demir's on down down the line. Demir, that could be a penalty. No, it's not. Arnold's going for a goal. Oh, what a goal from Arnold! What a goal! I'm thinking maybe a VAR check on that tackle because that's what I thought was going to happen. But I didn't think Arnold was going to put us in top bins. What a goal from Arnold this is. I just thought, it's not a foul, clearly, but I thought I might check it. What a hit from Arnold. Bend it like bend it like Beckham. Bend it like Arnold is the way I'd say right now. 4-0. What a goal. I'd like a clean sheet. Be nice. Connor kick here for Osberg. Kills in the penalty area. And that is some sort of defending. Thinking for Arnold here. Rappos cross it up. Bacano! And he makes it five. Dortmund five. Augsburg nil. We are just dominating Bundesliga right now. And it's actually getting scary um, how good we are in the league. Arnold may get man of the match. He may get man of the match because of the goal and assist he's now got. Uh, five nil. Game seven match. And there we have it, folks. A five nil victory. Barring a late goal here from, from, from either side. And that should be full time. I'm only waiting for a feed. It's five minutes. Here we go. There we go. Dortmund five, Augsburg nil. But this is kind of what we're like in the league now. We're so dominant. Yeah, best form with Arnold. Definitely a wonderful strike and a good uh, an assist as well. Very good result for us there. But the main thing now is PSG. Can we get a good result in in, in Paris to take to the second leg? We've got a bad record in Champions League got like our stage games, but we'll see what happens. Right then, guys. Match number two against PSG. And I don't quite know what our record against PSG is actually in recent, recent. I think we've lost most times to them maybe even once um, so we're going with that team today I just don't know I really don't know the, the, the pressure's kind of off me now because I've done way more than I thought I was going to be able to do with, this, with, the Dortmund, with, with, with Dortmund I thought we were struggling to win the league still at this point and battling top four based on how previously went against previously went, 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 went with these guys but yeah um, let's see what happens folks if we come out of this game with some kind of result or at least away goal, not too far behind them, and into the goals. Oh, no, I'm making team talk. Um, go ahead and get fan moves. Well. I don't. I really don't know. What the, I didn't. I really don't know what, what the best talk was to say to these guys for this game. They're in good form, Dortmund. But so, uh, are, um, but so are we though. We're not going to game in bad form either. So we're not. You know. So we'll see what happens, folks. Um, this tactic is working. It just. It, I think. It, in these kind of games, it comes down to the fine margins because with the quality players that they have and we have, and who performs better. But we'll see what happens, folks, shall we? Mbappe on the ball. This is very ominous early on. In fact, it's not in the heart, in the heart already. Neymar, Fakir. Put on goal, Fakir here. Good tackle, that. And Alan gets it clear. Corner kick down for Bruno Fernandes to take. Kills in penalty. Here. Fix it on, and it's over the bar. If it's Haaland, I'd fancy him more to score. Even gained so far, I'd say. Maybe it was slightly edging it at the moment to the chances that we've seen, but there have not really been many clear opportunities for us, which is slightly worrying. Ken Papers across to Fatih. Still got a knock on, on him. Now it's Mbappe. Now it's Fatih base pace. Futa Fakir just dealt with Ebro Bucano. Can Haaland get that? No, he can't. He's one for, one for the defender, not, not the ball, which is an interesting decision. Um, Evans on the ball. They, they're definitely playing the oh, good, good ball that. Coming out Haaland. Can he turn and get past somebody? He's got options to play to somebody. Sancho. Sanchez through Haaland. He just hesitated, hesitated in penalty area. No one's going Haaland cross it in. Again, it's just not there, is it? The final third with it. Either hesitating or playing the wrong pass at the moment. It's like they didn't drive forward, they did the quicker to the ball or quicker to realise that the loose ball was there. I get Kevin is flying faster than him, but he's just he's not even running towards it. Batty, good tackle for Tegafico there. Doesn't get the ball back though. 
Good tackle again. Sancho over the top. If you can, it's Van Haaland. Now, to angle this. He might be able to score, though. Oh, he's at the post. Not one of these games, lads. It's one of the, uh, It's really, really difficult game to get my feelings sorted out for because I feel we've been okay. It's just the fine margins, like I said at the start of the episode, at the start of the game, sorry, that the fine margin in these games are the difference. And I'm going to say, delight performance so far, because I've been like, we've not been, not been dominated. We've not had a sea of chances against us. We could have scored a couple, maybe, for another day. So this is encouraging, but it's just a fine margin. Haaland's got off a bit more. Um, Sanchez got off, Bruno's got off a bit more as well. And just to find that away goal. And that's really poor from Demir, that run, that's really poor. Things like that, we can't, we can't let that, that happen. Well, then Savic, though, good, good recovery. Skriniar, good tackle. Savic, Demir, get it forward. This is the problem with your passing, you see, is they're not going forward. That's the problem with your passing right there. They've got to get it forward, Neymar. Neves, that's the problem with short passes. They've been doing that all game. 1-0, and that's the problem. They've just got to have more belief in themselves to get the ball forward in those areas. That was coming, that. You can see it coming here. There was balls over the top that could have played, but then Skriniar and Nomo mess up here. Skriniar again. It's just, look at the danger. And they don't realise the danger there, do they? That's the problem with short passes is, with, with top sides, is they just seem to just all play a safe ball. No. Get the ball out of there. 1-0. It's a downturn error again. It would be, wouldn't it? You guys, here we go. Full-time, finally. PSG won by one goal to nil. I was cut a bit sick, sick out there because it was just going forever. Eight minutes at a time. I don't, I don't know how they work out at a time in this game. I really don't at times. Like, there's no wasting time there from anybody. Um, so that, that, that I was aware of. But not up here. Screen yard and all one messed, messed up massively there. It was just... That's the, the downside to short passing that can happen. You make a mistake like that. And against someone like PSG, you will get punished for it. Great goal from Neves, though. Can't fault it. He's, he's always a fit from those, isn't he? But if you're looking at positives, we actually did quite well against PSG. Only 1-0 defeat against them. But if you look at our pass record against PSG, look at it now. It's been 5-1, 2-0. It's been uh, only one game. Only one game we got actually thrashed in. But it's just we just the fine margins don't go our way um, in these games thus far. So anyway, next episode will be Bayern Munich and PSG again. We've got to do over, we've got to beat PSG by a clear goal to get through, uh, barring unless they score a goal, obviously. Uh, so 2-0 will get us through. Big ask, give, given how good they are. Um, but Bayern Munich next. Win that Bayern Munich game and the title race is over, in my opinion. So, yeah, we'll have to see what happens there, won't we? If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. I'll catch you on next episode. Don't forget to check out the Dortmund, the Dortmund series. Of course, you're right, watching some of it. The FIFA series and my Twitch channel, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.